Yeah. Uh, everyone ready? All right, we'll start with the opening statement. Uh, Jackson's coming. Oh, okay. Um, man, what a, what a great atmosphere. First of all, I want to thank our, our crowd uh, for it's just continued to grow. And, you know, one of the first things that we wanted to accomplish here, uh, our goal and vision from day one, I should, let me put it in a better way, till today was to try to return Southern Miss basketball to a, a position of respect and national prominence. And, um, of course, what goes with that is Regarding Coliseum coming back. I love this arena. Um, and I love our, the spirit, and I love how loud it gets in there. But uh, so I'm very thankful to the crowd. Uh, student section was awesome, and um, I think they had a lot to do with impact and winning tonight. So that's first and foremost what I want to say and thank you. And hopefully it'll continue to build. Uh, Saturday we'll need them again. A quick turnaround. Um, I, of course, uh, I give South Alabama credit. They're just like we thought. I told anyone that would listen how hard this game was going to be. It was going to be a war. Our players knew that. Uh, they got a very good team. Um, they've played an incredibly tough schedule up to this point. They've lost a lot of close games. But I thought our guys showed some resiliency, too, and some poise and composure. I thought we played very well in the second half, uh, both ends. Uh, I thought defensively and offensively, and I thought we really gutted up when we needed a few stops there late. Uh, we were able to get them and did a good job of, 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 of taking care of the basketball and playing smart down the stretch, getting the basketball into our free throw shooters' hands and those guys knocking shots down. Um, so real proud of that, and uh, again, you don't have a lot of time to be be celebrated. You got to turn around and get ready for a really good team on Saturday. Um, I thought Felipe played like everything he was advertised in that last uh, minute and a half. Can you talk about just his yeah. composure and I guess his experience really showed as well? Well, he's just uh, he's a special young man. I have a huge regret that we don't have him more than we've had. You know, we're going to have him, um, and I hope our fans are enjoying him while they can. Um, he, he, of course, has not shot the basketball very well um, over the last couple of games, but a lot of that has to do with the uh, uh, in, intense uh, scouting and, and amount of uh, game planning, defensive game planning, and the attention he's getting. But what it's doing is opening up, th up for other guys. And uh, he's such a team player. Uh, uh, another issue that I have with him, he's just absolutely too unselfish at times, um, particularly early in the game, trying to get other people involved. But he's a He's a great passer. He's a great young man, first of all. He's a great representative of our <coughs> university. Um, could not have asked for he, he has just exceeded everything that we expected. We expected him to be really good, but he does so many things that, that aren't on the stat sheet. But uh, I thought all of our guys showed a lot of poise and composure in a very pressure-filled situation. And um, so real proud of that. And, uh, but Felipe, Felipe was special. It's good to see him to start coming back because he hit a couple of big, big shots for us. Coach. And he was right there on a couple of others. Coach, can you talk about getting Neftali Alvarez back? Yes. It seemed like he made a lot of impact kind of uh, defensive plays. He, he, he did. Uh, of course, it's going to take a little time. Y'all know you can't just miss as much as he's missed. He hasn't played since the third game, Charlie, of the season. And, 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 and it's going to take him a little time. And we knew also, and it disrupted our flow and rhythm a little bit, but that's to be expected. But it's important for the long run to get him back in there and get him going because, as we all know, he, he brings a lot to the table. And uh, even even the short amount of time out there, you could already see flash of that quickness and toughness, and especially on the ball. And one of the things that's, that's critical for us is to be able to apply pressure on the ball in the front of that press. And I thought as the game went on, if you will look at more shots, who was hurting us, and he was really good, the kids averaging 17 a game, get that thing inside, and he's, he's hard to deal with. But, but late in the game, he wasn't shooting in as much. And, and, and when he did, he wasn't as accurate as he was early. And a lot of that had to do with that having to bring the ball up the floor and that constant pressure. So uh, uh, Neftali, Mo, uh, of course, all of our guards, I thought, did a good job of that. But having, having Neftali out there um, uh, fits into what we're trying to do uh, a lot because he's, he's able to apply a lot of ball pressure. In that first half, uh, you guys go up by 11, and then it was like a six-minute scoring drought. Yeah. What happened right there? It I thought like we got, got I, I think, well, it was several things. Um, in practice, uh, Austin had hurt his rib uh, yesterday in practice in a collision, and um, he had a, he had a, a, a you know, a, 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 a brace or, or, or whatever, and it was molded to him, and, and so he, he called to come out, and of course, then we began to substitute. You can't play those guys 40 minutes. We began to substitute, and our rhythm was, I thought, we just got out of rhythm a little bit. 
I thought we got impatient on offense and uh, we were able to kind of get that back under control in the second half. But that was as much my fault uh, and, and substitution pattern than anything. Coach, what did you think about DeAndre Feeney? He come out there. Positive firecracker at second half. We needed him. <laughs> we, of course, he got two fouls. And, and again, I, you know, you hate to – I don't know if he really earned those, but it hurt us. And, and of course, we needed him in the second half. And as long as we were staying, you know, the, the score was staying close, I wanted to keep him out because I knew the game was going to go down to the wire. And, of course, we were able to get him to halftime. And, uh, but, yeah, he played great in, in the second half and hit some huge shots. Got us going. Oh, yeah. Coach, what kind of value does Alvarez add when he's a part of the game club? Yeah, he's, uh, he just, he's a tough uh, hombre. I mean, he's tough, he's competitive, he's very skilled, um, athletic. Uh, he gives us an a, a, a element of athleticism that we don't have. Uh, like we have good athletes out there. He gives, us a, he gives us an elite athlete. Let me say it, put it that way, is a better way. And, um, and, and of course, he, he's great at penetrating and dishing. And, um, it'll, it, it, tonight was a good start back for him. And, of course, uh, it, keep building and building. Hopefully, he'll be... Uh, within a week or two, I think we'll see him back in, in full strength. And, and, of course, the good thing about it is he looks strong, his, his, his foot feels good. Um, so I think we're past that point. Coach, for a guy with bad ribs, 25 points for Austin Crowley, can you just talk about his performance particularly? <laughs> That's another, you know, an, another one. And he, he's, oh, Austin's a winner, man. Um, didn't quite have his outside game tonight. You know, he's, he's, he's generally a really good three-point shooter as well. Didn't quite have it. But he is a, uh, he's a winner. Um, uh, another really smart player. Uh, we've got guys that are, uh, that are, you know, there's an old saying in, in coaching, if your your best players are your hardest workers, you got a chance. And he's that guy. You know, uh, Felipe's that guy. These guys are incredibly uh, committed and dedicated. They come in at 6 in the morning. A lot of times I get worried about them working too much, you know, because of, of the point we are during the season. But uh, Austin's a winner, and, and he uh, – he finds ways to, to help us win. And, and with uh, early on in the second half when we were, of course, uh, you know, playing from behind, he uh, and DeAndre, I thought, really kind of put us on their back at that point. And then Felipe kind of took over. So um, it, it's pleasing to see, uh, you know, and, of course, we get four guys. I'm like looking now. We have four guys in double figures. And, and Denaje Harris, I, we got to talk about him a little bit. Of course, Denaje gets 11. Um, had 22 the other day, so his offensive game, he's five for eight. He gets nine rebounds. I mean, he is Mr. Efficient. And But what we did, I, I thought Coach Juan did a great job of, of adjusting on defense. And what we did is put Denaje, if y'all saw that, on the Moore kid. He was just playing over the top of our smaller guards. And Denaje had a lot to do with shutting him down late in the game. Any other questions? Do you have one, Charlie? No. Okay, thank y'all very much. I appreciate y'all. Okay. Pom-pom.